It's this video on my subscription. Cop shoots and kills Sunday school teacher, only gets three years in jail. It's another Shikama production. I didn't even watch the video yet, and I just started commenting on it. But, um, I don't know. I got to a point making these comments that I was like, you know what? I should definitely put this in a video. I mean, there's some pretty important stuff. Uh, this was my first comment on here. Know what these slap on the wrist sentences for dysfunctional pigs indicates? It means they're going to continue to use them, probably as secret agent spies to abduct children and run drugs and commit assassinations. Plus, they don't want to really end police brutality by sticking justice to them in a public way that dissuades their abuses. And that's why it is that cops always get off, even when they get convicted, they get some slap on the wrist sentence, yeah, and they, they're back on the street in a short amount of time, even though they're murdering people. <clears throat> so, then I decided, you know, that's a pretty bold statement you know, to make without, like, providing any evidence that this is obviously the situation. And so I decided I was going to go out there and uh, take down some, some headlines from Google for the search for uh, ex-cop guilty of murder. And... I made it through four pages so far, and I found a, a different case, a different situation of an ex-cop murdering somebody on every page. Uh, on most of the pages, I found like you know three or four different. Um, on the first page, they like really focused pretty good on the most recent one, but um, you know on on every page there's a new one, and so I started posting these headlines. <clears throat> Here's a couple headlines, show you what I'm talking about. Ex-police officer pleads guilty in murder for hire scheme. Execution schedule for former Florida cop convicted of nine murders. <clears throat> Ex-police officer convicted in murder of seven-year-old Illinois girl, Maria Redouf. Snatched from a small town street corner 55 years ago. Same thing in Malaysia, as it's a global empire, ex-cops should be retried for Alan Tunya murder, not acquitted. I, I got some more headlines, posted them onto this video. Uh, some more headlines, Levi Chavez, ex-police officer, not guilty of murdering wife. Yeah, I'm sure. Tears in court as ex-cop is found guilty of wife's murder after she was found shot dead in their burning home. Murder rap for Bloomberg cop after shooting gal pal's ex, Mayor's guard convicted of slay attempt. Now, what would make Mayor Bloomberg's guard feel like he's authorized to murder people? Oh, probably because he's been murdering people for Bloomberg for quite some time now. Some more headlines. Ex-cop convicted of first degree murder and wife's death. After a first trial deadlocked, a former San Bernardino cop was convicted for drowning his wife, Christy. Ex-Kansas cop found guilty of killing wife. Ex-cop Drew Peterson found guilty of murdering third wife, Kathleen Savio. Former Jackson police officer found guilty of murder. Gray convicted in one-year-old daughter's death, Gray being an ex-cop. Former Culpepper police officer found guilty of voluntary manslaughter. Former cop convicted an elderly woman's murder. David James McClellan denied conspiring with father in Evelyn Stepko's death. Former cop convicted of murder, wife claims to go numb. Former police, Philadelphia police officer found guilty of murdering his neighbor. Elizabeth City, North Carolina, former police officer found guilty of murder. Understand yet? This is my comment. Understand yet why so many innocent people wind up on death row and are decades later exonerated by DNA evidence? Obviously because the cops are doing the murders and then they're framing up innocent people and that's why so many people have wound up on death row that they are later exonerated by the real evidence of the case. Yet the cops are never prosecuted for, for the... You know, and when they are prosecuted, you know, it's, uh, they, they get these little slap on the wrists. But, um, yeah, the, the cops are never prosecuted. You know, uh, ex-cops, ex-cops, they're sometimes prosecuted. But notice this, a lot of these were the family of the ex-cops. They were wives, daughters. P 
people that apparently those cops they decided to kill on their own they didn't uh, they weren't ordered to kill these people a lot of these that they're being prosecuted for but how they wind up in this murderous mindset is that they are hired by the bureaucracy to conduct assassinations and then when people just piss them off on like you know the tiniest little thing then they just fly off the handle and they they feel authorized to murder like they're gonna get away with the murder because you know they got away with so many murders before and then you know they uh when when they're killing people you know for their own personal reasons not on behalf of the rothschild banksterism you know not on behalf of uh the bankster empire then you know they then they they're cannon fodder you know they just be uh you know then they finally get uh you know not not the totality of the justice that they deserve you know which would be heinous it'd be brutal you know it'd be better to just send them to their their afterlife justice but um you know they they get some some beginning on the justice you know that they wind up stuck in jail for some years <clears throat> but as long as they're killing people for for the Rothschild bank, uh, banker empire, uh, the globalist crime syndicate, then they're protected that they, they will never get busted for their murder. You know, whether they, um, whether they are, uh, they get off scot-free that, you know, absolutely, uh, they don't even get charges pressed on them. You know, if they're, if they're cops still on the force and they're doing these murders, then, yeah, they they won't even get charged. Uh, whoever gets charged for the murders that they do will be somebody who had nothing to do with it. Just whoever was convenient to frame up. And then uh, the people, um, uh, the, the the people that they kill, that yeah, they're um, they they're not doing it as uh, under orders from the Rothschild Bankster Empire. Then they finally get. You know, they, they finally go to jail on that. But, um... Yeah. I don't know, that's just, uh... The most wretched corruption. And then, you know, this... Like, you can find these on Google. You know, you do a clever search, like, ex-cop guilty of murder. But... You will never see these, not even in the local paper. You know, like, the, the local paper might report it on, like, page 20. And, um, you know, who reads the local paper? Nearly nobody. And then, um, you know, they, they'll never cover it on, like, the evening news, you know, like, you're sitting down for dinner watching the news, they're not gonna cover all the ex-cop murders, you know, and if they do cover it, it'll be, you know, very strictly, um, you know, the, the local area that hears any news about it, and then, you know, be some, uh, some, uh, collection of sound bites. You know, it'll be a, a few sentences spoken about Oh, gee, you know, another ex-cop murdered somebody. But, uh, you know, they, they won't say another. You know, because they, they will downplay the fact that so many of these are going on. But if you seek them out, you can find them. <laughs>